I was recording this video and then I got a phone call and I wasn't gonna answer it, but the phone call was important and so I forgot where I was, so we're gonna start again. <laughs> So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nora. Thank you for coming back and for watching my videos. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm still learning about this whole YouTube life thing, but I just kind of wanted to share with you guys my own perspective and my own journey with this whole YouTube thing and how I feel because I feel like a lot of people who do watch YouTube might feel this exact same way, especially the people with the smaller channels that, you know, we in the same family. I feel like YouTube has families <laughs> and your subscriber count is kind of like your family. You know, you have the small community, the medium, the large and the extra large, whatever you want to call it, but we're in this together, guys. Okay, guys, so today's video is just going to be, you know, something to inspire us in terms of like really being consistent and really being, um, more encouraged to post content on youtube so i was looking back and i think i started my channel in about april of 2015 i literally had like a samsung or like a really old iphone and i just recorded a video and i was like i really want to do youtube and then here and there i would like post videos and stuff like that and i just i just lost interest at that time and then years again, years later, I believe like in 2017, it really picked up again where I had a friend who was just like, yo, you should actually make YouTube and was really, really encouraging. Shout out to Jesse, like you're amazing. I appreciate you so much. And he basically was like, I have a camera, I have a microphone, I got all the stuff that you need. You just need to get yourself to my apartment and I got you. I literally would like make these videos, he would edit them for me and would post them on my YouTube because I really didn't know how to do any of that. So that was really helpful. But then life happens and then we started to adult, you know, we started to go our separate ways. Um, and so I didn't have that same support and so I really had to kind of figure it out myself. So then I told myself, you know, if I had nice equipment, if I had what I needed to have, then I would seriously make some bomb YouTube videos, right? So I basically go out of my way. I forget when. I want to say it was like early 2018 pretty much. I know I'm like skipping everything. So guys, one thing I'm going to tell you guys for sure is I have the worst memory in the world. And so I don't know anything in particular in terms of dates and year and time and days. Like I don't remember any of that stuff. So if I'm just talking out like my butt right now <laughs> and it doesn't make sense when you guys go back to my channel I'm just trying to give you guys an overview of like kind of the years and how inconsistent I was it's pretty much what I'm trying to tell you guys but essentially I think it was like in 2018 I want to say I went out and I bought like a, the Canon G7X Mark II and I was like you know what I'm ready this is what all the YouTubers have and like you know I'm gonna start vlogging I'm gonna start recording daily I'm gonna start doing all this fun stuff and I think I recorded like one or two videos and like I said before guys everything else was just on SD cards and I just couldn't get from like recording the video to then posting it and I'll tell you guys why like once I like rewatch the video, I would then start talking so negatively to myself. I would say like, who cares about your life? You know, who's really going to watch your content? Who wants to know where you went, what you ate, who you talk to? Like, you know, who cares about your thoughts? Who cares about what you think is important? Like, these are real life things, guys, that I used to think. And if it wasn't me really criticizing my own content, it would be me criticizing my look. Like, you know, I'd be like your hair look ratchet like or you didn't look cute or that angle was really bad or you look super chubby in that video or you know you talk too fast or too much in that video and i would like literally tear apart my videos before i even got to the point where i would then edit them and post it so it's like a cycle in my mind that just happens so much right and so for this year or this season, whatever you guys want to call it, because I don't like to think year to year because I feel like that's just kind of like a limited and kind of a narrow thought process, but just season, like, you know, I think people grow, we evolve, we change, certain things have to happen for us in terms of our mentality for us to be able to do what we want to do. So for this new season, I really want to focus on um, just being more confident in myself and just being really open and just accepting 
myself you know what i mean and not being so critical like what the heck guys it's like the whole world is consistently going to either judge you be critical of you love you whatever like everyone has a point of view so if our own point of view of ourselves is skewed like we're really doing ourselves a disservice like you're starting at the end of the line you know like the finish line and the whole purpose is to move forward and so I noticed like, you know, a lot of YouTubers, especially the smaller YouTubers, they comment on like big YouTube platforms and they say, you know, I wish I was like you or I wish I could make videos like you or I wish I can talk like you, present like you and do all this stuff. And the reality is, guys, we can. Okay, like we really can. The only difference is certain people are actually doing it. And other people like myself in the past is, you know, we're going to leave that old Nora in the past. But in the past, it's like I would watch other people do it and I would just be so like inspired by them or I'd like envy them. But I just never would put in the work. So that's the only difference, guys. Like I kid you not. Look at any of your favorite YouTubers or any of your favorite mentors. It doesn't even have to be YouTube related. But like look at anybody that you genuinely aspire to be. Think about where they are now. And Think about where they started, you know, and how much work and how much effort they have to put in to get to where they are. So success doesn't happen overnight, nor does a thousand subscribers, nor does 10,000, 100,000, whatever your goal is. I'm specifically talking about YouTube today because that's a personal goal that I have for myself that I really want to... Um, you know expand on here and to really grow to share knowledge to meet people and to do all that great stuff so in terms of us guys for the little youtubers for the small family you know uh, the, for the people who are just starting we need to make sure guys that we really plan it in terms of steps i've been watching so many great youtubers so i think i mentioned or i will mention i've been watching binge watching the content bug My name is Catherine. she is amazing guys she dropped so much content on how to grow your channel the behind the scenes the work that goes into it um the analytics all the details and the gems and the juice that you need to grow your channel um and so does erin on demand um i believe her name is erin i want to assume her name is erin um but erin on demand also um another relatively like uh, newer youtuber who really started small who then started to grow her channel and now has like like i think like seven streams of income and just doing her thing like shout out to you sis too like i see y'all and y'all are motivating me because i feel like we all can genuinely have that capacity as long as we have the work ethic you know what i'm saying so i want to end by saying guys don't compare yourself to the biggest YouTuber. Don't compare yourself to that person who knows how to do all of the fancy edits, the thumbnails, the the animations, the voiceovers, you know, that all that good stuff, guys, because that's something that you and I, we, we will learn as we grow. But the only thing that we must do and that we need to do is to really just create content and to produce, to produce, to produce, because that's what matters most, you know? The quality comes, but if you ain't even got content, it's just how you gonna develop your quality, right? Like, you know what I mean? It goes hand in hand. For those of you who are watching this video, comment down below if you want me to follow you. I will do that because why not? Let's help each other grow um, and let's inspire each other. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and also turn on that bell notification button so you know when your girl posts, okay?